Today we're gonna be talking about top 5 things that nobody give a f about in Call of Duty Zombies. In other words, 5 things that nobody care about in Black Ops 3 Zombies and basically all of the Call of Duty Zombies. And we're not talking about things like the SMR. It's the worst gun ever in Zombies, we all know about it. But for example, if someone is playing Zombies and you effing hate their guts and you're trying to be sarcastic, hey, what'd you say? I hope you get the SMR, you piece of and I hope you go down. You simply wish them the worst gun, the SMR which means we do care about SMR to some extent if you get what I'm saying but the things that I got on the list are basically something you will see and you're just gonna be like hey I'm not gonna let this happen to me if it's a gun you're gonna exchange it right away if it's something good and you don't even going to give a single flying John Cena about them so hey I guess it's time to get started said no youtuber ever because hey if you have some new homies that actually subscribe to the channel you know what I'm saying and if you happen to be new on the channel hey make sure to subscribe for daily zombies content and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at number five we have the trip mines from Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now why do I have it on my number 5 spot is obviously we don't really care about them and I see no one really using it because they don't even kill a single zombie on high rounds and you'll never hear any zombie players say hey let's get some trip mines bros you'll never hear them and every strategy guide I have watched to this day I have never heard anyone mention them because they are obviously crap but I want to shed some light and say uh, that they can be great if you know how to use them and when to use them. I always mention whenever I can think of in my guides because they work really good when there is insta kill. Simply what you want to do is you want to hoard up the zombies, grab the insta kill and throw your trip mines and it will kill all the zombies which is really damn sick. And once you throw all two of your trip mines then you go ahead and throw your grenades and then you start killing zombies with your gun. But no one really care about trip mines. Only the few zombies players would get them and even them and myself would just grab it and not really care about it because once you buy them they will just fill that random slot on your HUD. But coming in at number 4 we have the XM53 in Black Ops 3 Zombies and we could also mention the RPG from Black Ops 2 Zombies but some people would actually use it for the lows after they pack a punch and yes uh, sometimes uh, to spice things up some Zombies players would pack the RPG for example on town but XM53 on the other hand is just something we're not familiar with. For example when you say RPG you're like holy mother of god it's the RPG right but XM53 is just nothing really special and if you get it out of the box you're like oh well time to hit the box again that became the second nature as soon as you get it you will get rid of it pretty damn fast because obviously it's a launcher that is pretty fat and big it's gonna slow things down for you quite a lot it's not gonna make you points either and on high rounds it may not even kill zombies and it may make a crawler but no one really makes a crawler anymore more like really because crawlers are way more annoying and even if someone wants to make a crawler they will just do it with a grenade right and there's no PhD flopper either so you're not going to use it and when you have the L4 siege which is way better obviously no one's gonna show love to my boy XM53 but coming in at number three we have Deadshot Daiquiri which is a perk that actually has a pretty cool perk machine but this perk only gives you the ability to auto aim to the head basically every time you're going to aim you will automatically gonna aim to the head of zombies and when you have perks like jug to buy quick revive to buy of course if you're playing solo uh, double tap to buy speed cola to buy electric cherry widow's wine stamina up and even in some cases mule kick obviously no one will buy a dead shot because you need other perks and you can only buy four perks at a time and some people like to use unquenchable gobblegum to get an extra perk and most of the time you're gonna buy electric cherry with your unquenchable gobblegum or stamina up or widow's wine and of course if you get perkaholic then you will get uh, my boy Deadshot but even then no one really cares about it. and no one really hates this perk either and I personally don't as well it's just that no one really give a flying <laughs> coming in at number two we have Zetsubu Nishima now we're not talking about the whole map but we're talking about Zetsubu Nishima challenges spider webs kd4 plants basically I could put the whole map and I'm pretty sure I'll be fine you know what I'm saying but at the same time I personally like the map setting but the thrashers ruin the fun like the other day I was like, hey, let's spice things up. Let's play Zetsubu and I'm saying it's been a while. I miss this map. In the beginning, I really enjoyed the map. I also loved how you turn on the power, actually, because I actually 
played this map in a in a while, right? So I actually turned on the power, I actually enjoyed watering down those generators. It's not even funny, but I actually enjoyed it for for a little bit. But as soon as I hit like round seven, there were thrashers after thrashers, which obviously ruins the fun because there are multiple of them. I'm not talking about like one thrasher spawning in. Most of the time they're gonna be like two thrashers and once you kill them there's gonna be two more and uh, they spawn quite a lot every single damn round. But no one really care about the spider webs on the map. Like when you want to turn on the power obviously that's a must and you're going to do it regardless. But you don't really care about cleaning up the spider web underwater right or from the gobble guns pathways and basically wherever there's spider web you don't really care about. Also the challenges that are just not something anyone really care about they are required for you to do if you are going for the easter egg and plants for sure which was a great idea said no zombies player ever but um even plants they did not really work in zetsubu no Shima. and everything about zetsubu no Shima is really tedious and no one really care about it's just a tedious process that you have to do all the time and even the kd4 is just not that great but coming in at number one this is just like that one thing that you will hear no one say you you would wish everyone should get the smr from the box for example if you hate someone you will be like hey bro i hope you get the smr and i hope you go down you freaking son of a but you will never wish them the war machine it's a grenade launcher that shoots grenades that will take a bit to explode uh for example you throw one grenade you will obviously going to cook it so it's gonna reduce that uh impact or exploding time right and you're gonna throw it right after that but with this there's no cooking you just shoot all of them out fast and then you have to reload which will take a serious amount of time and the grenades that you just shot with this thing are most likely gonna bounce off the wall or ground or and basically they're not gonna be where you want them to be right and every time someone see this they are like oh uh, le let's hit the box again you know what I'm saying so there you have it folks let me know what is that one thing you don't care about in the comments below and check out some other videos on the screen by clicking them if you have missed any of them subscribe if you have happen to be new and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and i'll see you very freaking soon